Hey GameSpot viewers and readers, it's Kevin Van Ord in the GameSpot offices and uh, I got a big box um, that just arrived a, a short while ago and I didn't know what was in it so I, I, I admit I did open it up and then once I saw what was in it I immediately closed it up again um, so that we could sort of have a little unboxing. Um, now um, this is not, what, what's in here is all about uh, Star Wars The Old Republic. Okay, so this is not the collector's edition or anything like that, but it is a bunch of stuff that EA sent um, that I thought you might like to take a look at. Um, and keep in mind, we'll be giving away um, these things on, on the show, on On The Spot, um, so be on the lookout for that stuff. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at the goodies that are inside of this box that we received. So, opening it up, and everything is in here exactly as it, well, almost exactly as it came. Um, so first we've got this volume that's still in the plastic that says the Journal of Master uh, Nos Dural. Um, so I am not exactly sure what this journal entails um, because I want to keep the plastic on it so that when we give it away somebody can have the pleasure of unwrapping it for themselves. Um, but that's, that's number one here. I'll put that on my messy desk. And number two we've got the art book, The Art of Making Star Wars The Old Republic. And uh, I don't want to give anything too much away, but we'll, we'll open it up and, and give you a peek at uh, the first couple of pages here. So yeah, that, that would definitely be Star Wars. So we've got the art book. Let's see if there's anything interesting on the back. Just gives a little bit of a rundown on the Old Republic and where it's set and when it's set. And we can see that this will be retailing at, at $40 US if you want to go out and buy one for yourself. So again, we'll put that up there on my messy desk and find out what else is in here. Well, here's, here's an important part of what we received. That would be the game. Um, so here we have uh, still unwrapped the DVD box of that and the back of the DVD box. And what does it say? It says, thousands of years before the rise of Darth Vader, there was the Old Republic. Choose your side in Star Wars The Old Republic. Um, and it talks about the award-winning massively multiplayer online game. So, winning awards before it's even out. That is a very special thing indeed. Let's go ahead and see what is in this tissue-wrapped box. Whoa. It is a Star Wars The Old Republic gaming mouse by Razer um, with 17 MMO optimized buttons, interchangeable gold backlit faction emblems, and a dual mode, uh, dual mode wired wireless technology. So it's both a wired and a wireless mouse. Um, so that's, um, that's a pretty snazzy looking, I gotta say. Um, and then the back of that box. I'm not sure, um, this looks like it was specially designed specifically for, well clearly, specifically designed for Old Republic, but I'm not sure if that's a, a, a um, you know, a, a, another Razer mouse that's been uh, repurposed for this game, or uh, if it was built from the ground up. But that is, either way you look at it, a very nice looking mouse. And another box. Let's find out what's in here. If I can get the tissue paper off. It's so difficult. So this would be gaming headset. Also by Razer, um, which I can see by the, the lovely little logo in the top. Um, also because it says gaming headset by Razer. Um, but yeah, Dolby uh, 7.1 surround sounds. Um, I'm trying to read upside down and I'm not very good at, good at that, but uh, yes indeed, this would be an Old Republic headset. So that can go on the stack. Now, here's, I haven't looked to see exactly what this is, so your guess is as good as mine, but this looks like a figurine of some type. So let's, let's open this up. Sorry, Ryan, I'm making it difficult for Ryan on the camera to, to keep up with what I'm doing with boxes. So this looks like it's one of seven scaled, scale pre-painted model kits according to the back. So this is the Senate Guard. Um, I'm almost afraid to open this to see it. Um, 
but it says standing at almost 12 inches tall. The normally stoic guardsman is poised to defend the members of the Galactic Senate. Um, the Blue Guard's robes and Spartan-esque helmet have been reproduced in exacting detail, utilizing reference materials from Lucasfilm's archives, and the flowing cloak reveals many details of the uniform normally unseen in any of the films. So, Ryan, do you think we should take this out? I, mean, I, I think it's not going to hurt to take it out. I don't have a knife, though. I should have been prepared. <laughs> there we go. I'm not going to put it together on the air. Oops. So here we go with all the bits and pieces of the model that you, somebody out there, many people out there perhaps, will be putting together. So we've got um, obviously the gorgeous robe and uh, other accoutrements here, including his, his head, as we saw. I think this is his head up here. Um, so yeah, this is not just one of those... Um, you know, stick two pieces together models and stick it on your desk. This is actually something that's going to require a little bit of um, a little bit of work on your part, and I think that's that's part of the purpose um, is to to give you a little something to do to make this your own. But uh, there you go. That is the um, the um, stuff that we got from from EA today um, regarding Star Wars: The Old Republic. Um, so once again, we've got the, the figurine in there, we've got the headset, we've got the mouse, all of this is great stuff. We've got the game, we've got the, uh, the Jedi Grandmaster's um, journal, as well as the art book um, on the making of Star Wars The Old Republic. Again, keep your eyes um, peeled on the site. We'll be giving away this stuff on, um, on, on the spot. And thanks for joining me. I'm Kevin Van Ord here in the GameSpot offices, sitting here surrounded by monitors and Star Wars The Old Republic accoutrement. Thanks for, uh, for checking in with us.